You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I have got your gripping new promo. It is titled Victor's Funeral and Dick Van Dyke, and we are going to explore the action on this NBC Peacock soap opera promo for the week of September 4th through 8th. We're going to break it down for you scene by scene and tell you what day each thing happens along with the official spoilers tied to that segment of the promo to give you some context for what you'll see. Then we're going to show you this sizzling new day's promo so you can see it for yourself. Hey, for all of you sending me well wishes because I was sick, I appreciate it. I know I probably sound worse today, but I'm actually feeling better. I'm, I'm out of the woods, I think. I hopefully will sound better on the Sunday videos. <laughs> we'll see. All right, we're going to get started. And if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our Days of Our Lives updates. All right, the first scene is Chelsea Brady. Yep, Chelsea Brady. That's right. She is there talking to what looks like Alex Kiriakis. It's hard because you just see kind of a sliver of his face, but based on the haircut and the hair color, it looks like Alex. Chelsea's saying, a world without Victor Kiriakis just doesn't seem right. And her voice continues playing as a voiceover as we see a shot of Victor's funeral with Sonny Kiriakis standing up near his great uncle's portrait by the coffin. And in the front row of mourners, we can glimpse Brady Black, Sarah Horton, Maggie Horton, and Justin Kiriakis. And behind them are Teresa Donovan, Alex Kiriakis, Rex Brady, and Bonnie Lockhart. And in row three, there's Kate Roberts, Philip Kiriakis, Chloe Lane, and Xander Cook. The voiceover, the booming male voiceover you're used to says, family returns for a final goodbye. In the next scene, we have Belle Black pleased to see Chelsea Brady and hugging her with Sean Brady smiling at their side. And then there's a shot of Philip Kiriakis taking his turn by his dad's portrait to speak. And he is a mess. He's in tears. And then we have Justin Kiriakis saying, I'm going to miss my dear Uncle Vic. And then there's a scene of a flashback scene of Victor hugging Bo Brady as Justin talks. And then the voiceover said, you know, the family returns to say goodbye. And then it continues with this and an unexpected hello. And in the next scene, we see Vivian Alamein. She sweeps into the Kiriakis living room at the mansion. Louise Sorrell is back. Also in the room when she enters are Lauren, Maggie, Bonnie, Justin, and Philip. Lauren says to Vivian, what the hell are you doing here, Vivian? And Vivian says, I've come to bid adieu to the love of my life. And Maggie groans and rolls her eyes. Then we have the voiceover kicking back in, and Dick Van Dyke is back for a little song and dance. And then we see Dick Van Dyke, who we now know his name is Joseph Bell, thanks to a leaked day's episode I'm going to talk about in a second. And he says, I used to sing all the time. He's talking to Julie and Doug. And then the three of them do an impromptu rendition of T for Two in the hospital waiting area. Although technically it'd be T for Three because there's three of them dancing and singing. The scenes of Julie, Doug, and Dick Van Dyke all happen on Monday, September 4th. I've already seen these. If you were like me and were up early ready to watch Days on Monday of this week, you might have noticed that they screwed up in about three different ways before they got season 59, episode one correct. They loaded up the Monday, Monday, September 4th episode. They pulled it down. They had loaded up at one point the Friday the 28th episode and then pulled it down, and then they finally got it right. So I know for sure that this is happening on Monday the 4th because I've already seen it. All right. Then the voiceover is back in the promo. It says, and a mystery solved. And we get a little flashback scene of what I assume is the Korean War and a soldier with a bleeding head wound collapsed but alive. And then Dick Van Dyke's character says to Marlena and John, you know who I am? All right, so for the scenes I've just described of Chelsea Brady, the official spoilers confirm that Rachel Melvin is back as Chelsea on Thursday, September 7th, and that's when Victor Kiriakis' funeral begins, so it looks like she shows up just as things get underway, but we anticipate the funeral continues until the 8th because of the next scene in the promo and the spoilers surrounding it. The scenes with Justin, Sonny, and Philip speaking could be either Thursday or Friday, the 7th or the 8th, since I anticipate they're probably going to give 
almost two full episodes to this goodbye to John Aniston and Victor Kidiakis. As for the part of the promo with Laurie Sewell, we know that Vivian's return is spoiler confirmed Friday, September 8th. So she shows up at the mansion. It's not clear if she makes it in time for the funeral or if she's just there for drinks after based on when she comes in and them all being there. So it looks more like she comes afterward. One spoiler said she would make it in time for the spoiler, but I call a grain of salt on that because the spoilers have not been terribly reliable of late on any of the soaps. Vivian should stick around for a few episodes after she makes some wild claims about Victor that send two people out of town to investigate. And the final scene of the promo where John and Marlena are talking to Dick Van Dyke's amnesiac character Joseph Bell are on Friday, September 8th, when official spoilers say that John Black figures out something about this mysterious character. I suspect that he is John Black's daddy, revealed at long last, just based on things that John has said about how Joseph Bell was in the same unit as his dad in Korea, and Dick Van Dyke saying that he came to find his son. So either he is John Black's dad, or he was best friends with his dad. But I suspect it's probably going to be his dad, since Drake Hogeston and Dick Van Dyke are friends in real life, and they told Dick Van Dyke that he might get to come back later for future episodes. So if he is John Black's daddy, that would make sense. All right, right now we are going to show you the promo. Be sure to click a like if you enjoyed this, subscribe if you haven't, and drop your comments on what you're excited to see next week and what you're hoping will happen at the funeral. And I know this is sad, but it is much needed to give fans closure on the life and legend that was John Aniston as Victor Kidiakis. I've been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Buckle up. Here's the promo. Check it out right now. A world without Victor Kiriakis just doesn't seem right. Family returns for a final goodbye. I'm going to miss my dear Uncle Vic. And an unexpected hello. What the hell are you doing here, Vivian? I've come to bid adieu to the love of my life. Uh. And Dick Van Dyke is back. I used to sing all the time. For a little song and dance. And you for me. And a mystery solved. You know who I am? 